Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a scatter plot out of an x and y variable uh, with the points distinguished by a third categorical variable. In this case the data I'm using is from a magazine called Start Renting. I collected this data a few years ago and used it in a old assignment. Here we have uh, the location the apartment uh, is in in the city of Madison. Uh, there's only two locations that I decided to look into, south side apartments and west side apartments. And then we have this x variable, a quantitative x variable, uh, square footage, size of the apartment. And we have rent of the apartment, monthly rent, in dollars. So the first thing I'll do is take this data and split it into two parts. I'm going to take the square footage and rent data only for the south side apartments copy that and then let's paste it right here okay then I'll take the uh, rent of uh, the square footage and rent for the west side apartments only copy that and let's paste that right here okay now these just to help me remember I'm gonna merge the two columns here above the labels and call this south and then uh, let's copy that Oops, I want to copy all of this let's copy that and uh, these are the west side apartments okay so we split the data we'll just make these columns a little thinner so I have more space over here now the next thing I'll do is make a scatter plot out of the points, x and y points, but only for the south side values. So I highlight the data, not the labels, and I say insert, scatter, and there I have my south side uh, scatter plot. And uh, we can see that this, this x-axis is square footage, this is rent, so as apartments get bigger, uh, they tend to be more expensive. The rent is higher, at least for the south side apartments. Um, I'm going to right click anywhere on the graph. Sorry about that. Right click, select data, and I'm going to change the name of the series one right here. Click on it once, edit. Those are the south side points. If I say south, press OK. Now I want to add another series for the west side points. So I say add, click on add. This is west. And I have it spell it right. Okay. And then for the x values of the west side points, click on the icon here. Select only square footage values for west. Click on the icon. Go to the one for y. Select only the Y values, the rent values for West. Notice I only selected the data, not the labels. And press OK. And here's our graph now. Um, now the, there's more West Side apartments, and they're kind of overlapping the Blue Side apartments, the Blue <laughs> apartments. Um, so we can clean that up. Right-click anywhere on these red points. Format data series. Marker options built in. I like circles. Fill. Let's say no fill. Marker line color. I like solid black outlines. Okay. Now the west side points, uh, there were more of them, so I like to make those just uh, white circles. Now the, there were less south side points. Right click on those. Format. Marker options built in. Now again, I like circles. But that's just my preference. Marker fill. Let's make this a kind of a darkish gray. Line, uh, no lines, but marker line color, solid black. Okay, looks a little better, but we should uh, clear out some of this empty space in the graph. I'm going to click on the grid lines once and hit the delete key. I'll rescale the x axis. Right click anywhere on the x axis, and uh, at the bottom it says format axis. Brings up this window. Earlier, I found descriptive stats, and I know the numbers essentially range from about 300 to uh, 
um, for square footage for size uh, 1600 by increments let's go increments of 300 okay and that fills up nicely on the X scale let's do the same for the Y axis format uh, for the rent values let's go 400 was about the minimum to 1400 is about the maximum by increments of 200 okay so we got all the data now filled in the graph nicely um, let's add labels for the axes so click on graph once layout axis titles horizontal is the x-axis and let's call this square footage Okay, let's go to axis titles again. Vertical axis is the y axis. Rotated uh, rent, and this is in dollars. Okay, and we can add an overall title for the graph. Let's go layout, chart title, above the chart. Let's call this uh, Madison uh, Apartments. And it's rent versus square footage by location for the two locations west and south okay the titles too big so I'll uh, click on it and go to the home tab let's change the font to uh, 11. Oops, 11 okay and uh, the last thing we should do uh, part of the last thing is stretch out this graph so that the y-axis is about the same length as the x-axis. Let's make a boundary around the plot area. I right-click on the plot area, format plot area, border color, solid line. Let's make a gray line, match the gray on this part. And then uh, right-click on the overall area. Down at the bottom here is format chart area. I like to get rid of the border for the outside uh, border. Okay, we have a nice looking plot. Uh, what I see in this plot, as expected, without uh, taking regard of the location of the apartment, bigger apartments uh, rent for more money, obviously. Uh, if you look closely, the south side apartments, the gray points, tend to be a little bit lower on average for similar sized west side apartments. So it looks like uh, they might be uh, controlling for size, they might be a little bit less uh, in rent. And then uh, one last thing is kind of the points are spreading out as we get um, to larger apartments. This may make some sense in the sense that bigger apartments have the space to have more amenities, but they don't necessarily have to have the space. But uh, if they do, then of course they're going to cost more, right? Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how you can add uh, a equations, straight lines to these points, one for each uh, group of points, and we'll, we'll add parallel lines, and then in another video we'll add non